hello guys welcome to our next tutorial lesson so for the previous lesson we learned how to create react routes that's um routing between different components or moving from one component to the other enabling us to switch the view which the user actually currencies so for our next tutorial or this tutorial we are going to be covering nested routes in react.js so what i'm going to do is i'll simply come inside here and i'm going to First of all, So we'll simply come within this app.js and we are going to import those. So import. And here we are going to bring in the browser router. We are going to rename that as router. And also we are going to bring in routes and a single route. Okay, so now we are going to come within this and we are going to create our different routes so we at the top foremost level or at the uppermost level we have our router then routes and within routes we define a single route so and the element um let's say home we are going to import that from pages i'll just bring this down and comment Okay, like that. So I'll simply copy this down and I'm going to change the name of this route to dashboard and I'm going to change here to dashboard. So we also import that from pages. So I'll get this and bring it down so our work looks clean and nicer. So I already have my app running on for 3000. So you can go on ahead and run yours by simply opening the terminal and you do npm start. So I'm not going to do that since I already have mine running. So I will simply just go to the browser and we observe the changes that has been made so far. So upon coming here, we see that we are on the home page and when we switch to slash dashboard, we actually see the dashboard page being displayed. So let's just add here page for now. And also we are going to create um, a very simple navigation bar like the one we have on our design. So this um, a link to the home and a link to the dashboard. So within here, within the route, please make sure it's within the route else you're going to have errors. So we are also going to import the link tag from React Router DOM. And we are going to make use of that. Here we are going to have home and here we are going to have dashboard. 
so if we come to our page we actually have something like this um, let me fix this like that so i'll simply come here and i'm going to let's refresh this page okay so we are, can now see the difference home and dashboard when we click on dashboard we have the dashboard page and when we click on home we actually have the home page so just to make things a little bit clearer i'm going to separate these two um let's just create um, a css file for that up the css and we are going to import that within our up the js so for now i'll simply just select the navigation and the e that has a list of items and i'm going to give them um, probably a margin right of let's say two rem so when we come here we have this nice display and also on the navigation bar let's just give it some padding to separate from the content so we have a clearer view we actually have it like that nice and clean so let's view so if we come to the dashboard um we have an error so let me verify that let me see what would be the problem okay so the links are actually they don't have um the two property you must always provide that so we make sure that you provide that and when once we come here we have our pages loading properly so if we come to the home we have that we come to the dashboard we also have these two links 
So what we want to do now with nested routes is that once we click on profile, we should have here profile page. And once we click on courses, we should have here courses page that is within the dashboard. So now with um, React router or React router version 6, we actually provides us with, um, a lot, with that facility or that functionality of doing nested routes. So we are going to simply come within the app.js and we are going to do some few changes. So I'm also going to come here, I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to come within this and it's going to be a tag that actually takes in um, its children as um, children props. Well, we are going to see that in a far later story what I mean by children. So I'm going to create your route and I'm going to specify the path to, let's just say profile like that and the element. So what we are going to do is we are sim we are quickly going to create two components that's profile. I'm going to copy this, paste it down, and here we have courses. Here I'm going to change this to courses. So we can actually see that these two routes have actually been nested within this one. So I'm going to quickly create these two components. So I'm going to create a new file or a new folder within the source directory. I'm going to call it components. Within components, we are going to have to the profile and the courses. And both of them, they are obviously going to be arrow functions. So let me change this. So we have it like that. So let me just change this to courses view. And here I'm going to do um, profile view, just like that. So we are going to go in within our app.js and import those two components like this. So we have the profile and we are also going to import the courses just like that. So what if we actually come to our browser now and we maybe put here dashboard slash profile. Let's actually see what happens. Okay, so we have a problem there. So let's verify that. Okay, so within the dashboard, we are supposed to have an outlet. So we are supposed to state where those two um, components are actually supposed to be displayed within our dashboard because we have simply just said that, yes, within the app.js, they are actually nested routes. But now where are we going to actually display these two things within the dashboard? So we need to actually specify that. So we are going to bring out something from the React Router DOM, which is called Outlet, that is actually going to enable us to specify the position at which we are going to place either the profile or the courses route, depending on the nested route that we actually hit. So I'm going to come within the dashboard and I'm going to import that. So we're going to bring your outlet like that. And at this point of this H2, I'll simply get rid of this and I'm going to do Outlet like this. Okay, so let's view that. So when we come to the dashboard, when we click on, or rather when we switch to profile, since we actually did not already do that, so profile. And when we switch to profile, we see a profile view, and when we switch to courses, the same thing. So we are going to change that um, in a minute. So when we switch to courses, we have that, and when we switch to profile, we have an issue. So let's see how to fix that. Okay, so we are supposed to put a slash here. So we actually have this, rather we have to remove these slashes since they are nested routes. So if we come here and we click on profile, we have the profile view and when we click on courses, we have the courses view still within the dashboard. So with the real router version six, we actually have the possibility of using nested routes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for to receive for that update thank you